body and we're going to have a look at a closer look at the dawn of life this is a really amazing book it's not thick but yeah really really nice book this one and there was more in the series when i did find this um at the op shop they had a couple more uh different titles they had like bears um yeah a couple other titles like other animals but obviously i purchased this one being um about prehistoric life it has some really nice artwork so this one's from 1978 and this edition is 1981 so over 40 years old um no copyright intended all that work belonged to the owners and you've got the illustrations by these gentlemen right there So we get a bit of a um, introduction. What is life? The origin of Earth. So you get a nice introduction and some nice pictures of really, like the Earth's surface when it was in the early stages. Really nice artwork. Sorry that I got my hand in the in the way, but I've got to hold the pages down. So we've got some really early life forms like jellyfish. Hmm. You know what's interesting? I just noticed. See this picture right here all right look in a lot of books um you'll see a lot of pictures or artwork that's been copied and represented differently in another book or like the style especially especially of a lot of the famous paleo artists but you know this collage that i made that I, that's a background for like the dinosaur models and stuff it's that drawing there. It's pretty much looks the same, doesn't it? I have to go back and um, cause that was from prehistoric Australia, that, that artwork. So I have to go back and look to see if it was the same artist that did those two drawings. So that's, yeah, that's a bit of a deja vu right there, you know, it's right in front of me and yeah, that's Yeah, so we've got some Some really early life forms slowly slowly Becoming more advanced more complex And we're in the Cambrian Seas. Just bring it a bit closer. There's something fascinating to me about, you know, the, the early, the, the early periods, like the Silurian, the Cambrian, you know, like especially the oceans, all the different creatures. I can only imagine how beautiful it would have been to witness all this, you know, only if we can go back in time. So we're in the Ordovician period. I believe that was the largest predator. I can't pronounce its name off the top of my head.
Early plants. Getting close. This is the Vanian period. Maybe the Vanian period. Oh, but they're definitely in the Vanian period now. Say for a, a small book, it's really good. Like a lot of these um, theories haven't even changed, you know. I'm watching that documentary at the moment, Life. It's taking me back to some of those episodes because it's what the evidence is pointing in the documentary, what they think is similar to the book. So despite the book being over 40 years old, it's still the main facts are still there. Favorite period, the Permian period. So, like obviously a children's book, so it's not too complicated. Complicating, complicated. I mean, with the with the with the text, but overall. An amazing um, book that's focused mainly more on the the early periods. You don't get many books that's you know from the Permian period prior. So um, I'm really happy that I've added this one to the collection. And please comment. Um, if you've read this one, and I just like, like when you got pages dedicated to plants as well. So there's a, there's a wide range of diversity in this book. Um, and then this has definitely become one of my, one of my favorites. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time.